hundred years ago, our world was a very different place. Every year, measles caused the death of millions of children. An estimated 300 million people died from smallpox in the 20th century alone. But thanks to vaccines, millions of deaths are prevented around the world each year. And that's not all. Vaccines don't just protect you from diseases. They also cut the risk of contagious diseases for your family and everyone else around you. This is known as herd immunity. So how many people need to get vaccinated to achieve herd immunity? And if herd immunity can protect you, why do you still need to get vaccinated? When enough of a community is immunized against a contagious disease, most other numbers are protected from infection because there is little opportunity for the disease to spread. For example, if someone with measles is surrounded by people who are vaccinated against measles, the disease cannot easily be passed on to anyone, and it will quickly disappear again. This is herd immunity in action. People are not always the same when it comes to vaccinations and immunity. Infants, for example, don't have a lot of natural immunity when they are born, but they also can't get vaccinations right away. So, they depend on herd immunity to protect them. Similarly, people with vaccine allergies and anyone with immune-suppressing diseases like HIV or cancer depend on herd immunity. To have herd immunity and protect lots of people from disease, a very high percentage of people in any one area need to be vaccinated. This is called the threshold. For example, to get herd immunity against measles, 95% of people in a community have to be vaccinated. But if herd immunity works, then why do we get outbreaks of infectious diseases in populations where most people get their routine vaccinations? Some countries have seen some diseases eliminated, which means that there is no reservoir of the diseases in the country. But many haven't reached this point. Most of the disease outbreaks are people getting sick overseas and bringing the disease back to a vulnerable community who don't have sufficiently high vaccination rates. One such case was in 2014 when a measles outbreak that started in Disneyland in California led to 147 cases in seven states along with Mexico and Canada. So while herd immunity is a good thing, getting vaccinated yourself is still the best way to be protected. Unfortunately, the anti-vaccination movement is on the rise, which is increasing the rates of vaccine-preventable diseases. What can be done to fight this anti-vaccine crisis? And what will happen if most people turn to avoid vaccinations? The outcome would be scary, but that's a topic of discussion for another episode. Mm -hmm.